Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Trendy. And today, y'all, it's time to alien up and become uh, a Cronenbergian monster with all your best buds, because we're doing some Ben 10 aliens. Yeah, and we got Trendy here, our, our Ben 10 expert, editor for Dorkly, and also person who has seen episodes of Ben 10. Yes, I have. I've... I used to love watching it when it was on. Even now, whenever it plays, I have no choice but to watch it. I do love it. I do love it. I do love it. It's such a it's such a great show. You love the the good the cool alien turning into boy. Yes. You love the boy that becomes not boys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, that's that's about the extent of my knowledge of Ben 10, but our fans have really been asking for it. Thank you to Fish for asking for it. That's one that I wrote down. Healthy Thief also asked for it, and I'm sure others have. If it was you, say it was me in the comments <laughs> on this video. <laughs> Scream with me. I was one of the 10. Cobble's already getting us started with just a good boy drawing. One Ben out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got to get our Ben counter going. We got to get nine more Bens in here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we don't know nearly as much about Ben 10 as our fans or as you, Trendy. So we have brought you in as our expert to give us some Ben 10 aliens to try and draw based only on their names and descriptions. Caldwell is raring and ready to go. Why don't you give him his alien to draw? Okay, Caldwell. So there are a lot of aliens to choose from, it's surprisingly. So Caldwell, I'm going to give you Diamond Head. Diamond Head. Diamond wow. Head. Wow. That's a nice descriptive. That's a JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're back to JoJo. Yeah, we have, we have returned to JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I got I to gotta finish drawing Ben Tint's fashionable capris. Oh, okay. <laughs> he does have a great fashion sense. Cole, are you using a reference for this, or are you just pulling this Ben 10 right out of your head? Actually, I, I looked up some reference before. But I'm not looking at anything right now. This is a freehand 10. I'm feeling pretty good about it. You did a yeah, cram. It's, it's, pr it's very close. It's hey, a... is the main character's name Ben? <laughs> 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 I don't know anything about Ben 10. Ben 10. Are there just like 10 people named Ben in the show? <laughs> He's the only Ben. He's the only Ben. He's the only Ben. His full name is Ben Tennyson. Not, That's not Benjamin Tennyson. <laughs> pretty much. Ben Benjamin Tennyson? Pretty much. If we were to say his full name, it would be Benjamin Tennyson. His name is Benji tennis balls, and he <laughs> loves to transform. So diamond head. I mean, I feel like I just gotta do, I gotta be a bit literal. I'm going first. Follow your heart. That's what Ben would do. So in order to describe diamond, he's, um, I would say he's very bulky. He has gigantic, two gigantic diamonds pointing out of his back. Out of his back. Okay. He's a very stern looking character. Very, okay. Like, he looks stern, but we're talking about a boy who turns, a, a 10 year old boy who turns right. into his character. Is the idea that they have their own personalities, but also they have Ben still in there being them? At the same time? Not really. When Ben turns, he, all, it's all just Ben and whatever he wants to do. So if you see this really cool, powerful looking alien, he has the mind of a 10 year old boy. Oh, very good. <laughs> it's Shazam rules, I think. Pretty much. Thanks. I forgot the part of Shazam where it turns out that Shaq is an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are going to hate me for what I'm doing here, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I, like, I like that it's a diamond ring oh, coming out of a, a head. <laughs> Also, for his outfit, there's like a yin yang color scheme going on. The um, they get the color of the Omnitrix kind of on. It's oh, that, Caldwell, it's gross. It's like <laughs> green and black. Is that yeah? It's like green. Actually, for Diamond Head, um, it's actually um, white and black. So there are multiple seasons of of Ben Ten, yeah. and in each one, is there a new ten? Of, yes, of aliens. Each, each time he gets like a, a brand new set of different aliens. Originally, it was just, oh, Ben has 10 aliens on and he can only do it for a certain amount of time. And then you realize, oh, he can add a whole bunch of aliens to his um, Omnitrix via various ways. And eventually there is this episode where Ben goes into the future and meets his future self, who is called Ben 10,000. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. 10,000 aliens, and it was one of the coolest things ever, just to see like all the aliens he didn't transform into, or the ones he had that had morphed or changed based on his age. Can I just address that yeah. Caldwell has somehow drawn the evolution of the <laughs> elementary school hand turkey? Yeah, this is, <laughs> someone liked it too much and put too many rings on it. Exactly. There are too many engagements <laughs> right now. People liked this creature too much. I do like the face, the face I just on face. one. The yeah. face is fantastic. This is uh, Ben Tin's polyamorous phase. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. This is a real flirty alien he turns into. <laughs> on first glance, they do look like rings, but they are in fact ring pops. And this is like, a. you think that the name is a misnomer because you think that 
it's going to be like a hard carapace, but what it is, in fact, is it's a. Um, these are all poisonous <laughs> ring pops, and it tries to like uh, shoot poisonous shards of ring pop at its villain. Because you know it's a ten-year-old boy, so like what a ten-year-old boys love, uh, ring pop. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he tries to get the bad guy to just lick his rings. <laughs> Just like, come on, it's it's just candy. It's definitely not poison. It's not poisonous ring pops. Caldwell. I love this design. <laughs> yeah, and I got to put a thumb in here somewhere. Maybe it's kind of like crabbing along like that. Two, okay. Oh, wow. Does this have legs or is it just sort of a, a stub, a hand stub that hops? Is, is the thumb his only leg? <laughs> You've come to a crossroads now, haven't we? You've drawn yourself into a corner a bit. And uh, I'm interested to see how you reconcile this design. Two hands. <laughs> oh, just two hands. Dude, just two hands, though. <laughs> just, t- just two hands. <laughs> also, one thing you could add is, I guess, throw in, like, the Omnitrix symbol, which is just two triangles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, that's the belt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the hand, belt. the hand belt. Oh, that's good. It's still a watch it's, for the... <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, now, yeah, I feel yeah. bad because, like, <laughs> normally the first person that draws has is, should, like, try and create some sort of spectrum that we can like slowly distort i mean at this point we've got no illusions about what we're doing here it's a drawing challenge episode people know what they're getting into (laughs) we're gonna draw the things wrong maybe i'll provide the respite in between you and julia you'll provide bread and a bit of wine for a weary traveler on this journey i'll try not to draw just two hands unless my character's name is two hands or ben two hands And this is fun because I imagine they do a lot of hand puns on the show. It'll be like, Grandpa, I really got to hand it to you. I'm a hideous alien and I can't turn back. I can't turn back. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) I'm your grandson now. This is me. How do I go to school like this? It's fine. I don't go to school, apparently. (laughs) I live in a van with my grandpa, with Vampa. (laughs) That's what the fandom calls him. All right. I feel good about this. Yes. I love it. You're the only one who does. Let's look up. What diamond head looks like. Okay, I'm pretty sure I was close. Oh, oh. look at this guy. <laughs> look at that bumblebee looking And there's just, a, there's just a 10-year-old piloting that. Yeah, there's a, there's a 10-year-old in that body. <laughs> this guy looks like, yeah, he skips upper leg day, it looks <laughs> yeah. like, a little bit. Just real teeny-weeny thighs. Now, I do think that this looks like a diamond man, but that's actually just uh, a watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> yeah, he probably tastes great. Trendy, does Diamond Head ever get licked in an episode? <laughs> no, unfortunately. <Okay. laughs> great. That sort of gives me a little bit of an idea of possibilities for designs of these aliens. I want to draw one. Okay, Nathan. Your alien is going to be X. Oh. XLR8. XLR8. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so he's just the most extreme. He is. Ben is the most extreme boy. All right, I'm just going to sort of start drawing a running pose. I imagine this is a quick... He's a very fast... He's um, a very fast If one. anyone, any basis, he had, he... Most people will describe him almost like a velociraptor S. Uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the eraser. Okay. I'll probably... And then we'll, we'll go from there. We're going like to give him... Else. Okay, so maybe... Because velociraptors have pretty big thighs, so I think maybe this is sort of the opposite. I thought you were going to do like the Sonic the Hedgehog kind of infinity run symbol, but no, this is much better. Well, no, <laughs> we need we need velociraptor legs. Now, Trindy, when you said accelerate, I, I imagine you mean that this is like a mechanical being that can hard boil eggs very quickly. Is that correct? <laughs> he can grab eggs really quickly and probably put them in a boiler very fast, so that's just... Velociraptors do love grabbing eggs. That's they like... do love grabbing eggs, as Jurassic Park has shown us. <laughs> I do like that Trendy just hinted that Velociraptors also like to boil their eggs. Like, mm, don't want to get sick. Exactly. Gotta, gotta boil these boys. You gotta, you gotta boil those eggs. Because in, in dinosaur times, there were just volcanoes everywhere. So you could just chuck your eggs in a volcano and boil them right up. Yum, yum, yum. And the exactly. cooking time was significantly faster. Much faster. We, we have somehow gone backwards we have. in our speed. We should just go back to volcanoes. You have to find an act. Well, they're all dormant now is the problem. It takes so long for our eggs to boil. We've wasted so much time as a culture. Think about where we'd be. Oh, look at these bicycle shorts. All I have to go off is Diamond Head, and they, he is wearing sort of a, a onesie. This is sort of the gym outfit. So this is just alien Usain Bolt is what you've got here. Yeah, alien, alien Velociraptor Usain Bolt. <laughs> 
I love that Ben 10 is one of those eternal shows now where they're just always going to reboot it and people are going to get, I, I would say, uh, unreasonably mad at the reboots, even though they're probably just as good as the ones from their childhood. No, Caldwell, they're destroying my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> the childhood of soul. Not my Ben 10. I like the one when he was 14 and didn't have to change his name, even though he should have. How hmm. has there been so many Ben 10s that I've missed every single <laughs> one? Julia, because you've missed every generation of Pokemon, too. <laughs> yeah, you bring up a good point. Oh, you were probably in your chrysalis. I was. That you must return to every four years. Exactly. Yeah, I hibernate for and like 10 years. in that time, years. Ben 10 keeps growing and changing. <laughs> I'm growing stronger. I'm putting the symbol like right on his thigh. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> very good. Right big on his thigh. Now, Trini, you said Velociraptor. Is the face velociraptor -y? The face is, n is actually not. If I had to describe it without giving it away, I would say combined a biker helmet with the head of the alien xenomorph from Aliens. Oh. oh a big long boy. Just a hot dog. Slap Great. a hot dog on that. Great. Great. Cool. Safety first, though. I like that. Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, if you're running so fast, you you know, you don't want to get injured. Now I'm just picturing the xenomorphs from Alien, but they are wearing, like, pink bike helmets. <laughs> just, like, at the very back of it, too, because it can't fit on top. Right. It's just, like, a little tiny thing on yeah. the top of that. And then the little mouth that pops out of its mouth also has, has, a, also has a little also helmet. Has a, also has a helmet. It's like that meme about how a dog would wear pants. How would a xenomorph wear a bicycle helmet? Ooh, I love it. Oh, I'm going to tweet this after <laughs> we record this because I think that would be... Uh, basically, I, I just want to Photoshop a xenomorph wearing a bicycle helmet in two different ways. I am making him do the Naruto run. I love it. Because... Uh, that's just how did the how's the other hand go? Because like we, we killed God and you're allowed to do this now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Any other bits that I'm missing, Trendy, or is this is uh, this pretty good? If we're gonna go to the, the I, I got it looks really good. I mean, if we want to add anything else to it, if you want to go to the feet, he doesn't really have velociraptor <laughs> feet. He oh. has like wheel type feet. It's excuse me. Like a, it's really <laughs> weird. It's really weird. The design of this alien, I love it, but it is very weird. But it fits. You know, when the you whole, think of feet, you think of uh, of toe. You think of some weird little hands, some flat hands. No, in fact, wheels. Wheels, yes. <laughs> Just two pizza cutters down there, huh? Mm-hmm. What if I'm the roller skates? Exactly. <laughs> there oh, he goes. No. Look at him it was go. So cool. It was so cool before, though. <laughs> <laughs> zippy, 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 here I go. Hold on, I gotta grease my feet. I have a question. Does Ben make or design his alien forms, or is it like... No, all of his aliens are actually aliens that exist in his universe, and another alien has built this Omnitrix that allows just oh. all these aliens to do things. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's met some. Like, I know he has met an alien that looks like Diamond Head. Did he lick the alien? No, he yeah, did not. There's still no licking. We still have no confirmation of how Diamond Head tastes, if he's got that fruity flavor. I've got to stop. I love it. Messing with this. So X XL R8. XL R8. Let's look him up. Okay. Oh. You're very, yeah. You're, yeah, you're really, you're really spot on. You're really spot on. Okay, so he does kind of have the, the Velociraptor feet. It's, yeah. it's like they're holding the wheels. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Yeah, that, <laughs> that seems uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like holding on to some wheels. You know, I think mine is maybe after he's been to the gym a few more times. Yeah, he's he's bulked up his legs. This is more like if it was Courtney 14 and it was like a big beefy alien friend who had started going to the gym. Nathan, this is great. Julia, do you want to draw? Let me Ben. Your Hit alien me. is going to be Ghost Freak. Ghost Freak. Ghost Freak. <laughs> oh, these names yes. are wonderful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the thing I love is that they're named exactly as I probably would name them if I was 10 years old. Are the names like things that Ben comes up he, with himself? Like yeah, he turns into he it gives, and he's like, I'm going to call myself Diamond Head. Yeah, these are names that he gives these aliens just oh. based on like what they can do in their appearance. So it's always awesome when like he gets a new alien. Like, what are you going to call it, Ben? <laughs> Is there an episode where he meets the aliens and they're like, no, we call ourselves humans too? Yeah, he met, there, so there's another alien I will say is called Forearms. He meets a female version and she's like, oh, they, I forgot the name of the alien, but they have like a, a name, an alien race you'd expect them to have. And Ben's like, oh no, I just call myself Forearms. <laughs> <laughs> That's very insensitive. That's a, a slur in our culture, actually. <laughs> that is a slur in our culture. How dare you? The it, cool <laughs> thing about Ghost Freak is that he's one of the aliens that actually was able to escape Ben's Omnitrix and became a villain. 
and he has Ooh. an interesting he has two very interesting transformations one is the one that ben really has which is very much a, a very creepy looking ghost with like almost like if you've seen like the eggs from alien he has like lines that kind of look like that like across all over his body but the other version of him is the most terrifying thing that a t- <laughs> that should be in a kid's show he has these very sharp claws these this tentacle coming out of his stomach a stomach tentacle to, and he has a a skull head but it's upside down <laughs> <laughs> that's good. And that's that's a, apparently an upside down skull head. Yeah, and that's apparently that's the true version of it. The one that Ben turns into is a very tamed version of uh, it. I guess but... I should just delete all this, huh? <laughs> we can combine it to Julia if you want. Just <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to work with it. I want to keep to the drawy way of not erasing everything. So I'm going to try to draw a skull upside down. <laughs> Julia, you know you could just draw the skull and then flip it upside Shh. down. <laughs> That would not be the Julia way. No, yeah, I might, I might do that. <laughs> and by might, I mean, yeah. This is such a good character design trick, is you draw a skull, and you're like, I don't know, not feeling it quite yet. I wonder if this is, oh, shit, I turned it upside down. It's 10 times scarier. <laughs> <laughs> it's it been works. 10 times scarier. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> <laughs> It's the, it's the show Ben 10. It. I love it. No, great. No. Damn it, Caldwell. No, great. Oh. Uh. Bare Naked Ladies did the theme song for like two shows. They could have done the Ben 10 theme song. I'm so fucking mad that they didn't now. Yeah. They should have. I'm very disappointed they didn't. They could have just said, it's Ben for over and over again. It's Ben 10 aliens in a thing. <laughs> I'm loving this so far. Now I really want this to be a thing. No, the it's Ben thing is for like commercial breaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every, every time it's back, here it's Ben. The eye catch, the A part, B part thing that they do in yeah. anime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun if like in JoJo, as they go to the commercial, they show an alien and they they show its stats. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for mine, for, for Diamond Head, it would just be juicy 10 plus and then no other stats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, God. There's the upside down skull. <laughs> I like it. I love, okay, so now it, it's got like a little hat, a little link hat on top of the teeth. That's good. It's like little ghost, ghosty whispers. Little wispies. Trendy, you mentioned the alien escaped the Omnitrix. So <laughs> are there trapped souls of aliens inside that <laughs> are forced to just have their bodies controlled by a 10 year old like is it agony for the aliens it's, it's living not, it's not as dark as that they're pretty it's pretty much just the dna of those aliens ah. and apparently ben ghost freaks was evil and just wanted to like pos- like take over ben's body so he would so, keep him from transforming into like the other aliens some evil dna <laughs> i don't like what this show says about um genetics <laughs> but it is canon in the show that the Omnitrix is made from the bones of his mom. Exactly. Yeah, it's very. It takes a very Evangelion kind of kind of turn. twist to it. <laughs> this just it. looks like my Ghost Rider OC. <laughs> and now, okay, he does have a a business suit, which I guess would be the most terrifying thing to a ten year old boy. It's like you. You're going to grow up. You're going to have to sell paper. You're going to have to do taxes. You're going to have to get a job, a mortgage, (laughs) (laughs) a mortgage, Ben. (laughs) No wonder Ghost Freak wanted to escape. This is your fate. You're going to grow up and work at a paper company, and it's not going to be fun. Like on The Office, there's going to be very few hijinks. (laughs) You're going to try and pull one prank, and you're going to get called into HR. (laughs) You're going to get written up immediately. That's how he fights all his alien, all, all his, his opponents. That's all he says. He just points at them and just tells them about the real world, <laughs> the terrifying real world. Julia, the more I look at this upside down skull, the more I love it. Could I make a slight suggestion, though? I think if you made that neck like way longer, it would probably be a little closer to what uh, Man of Action's true vision for Ghost Freak was. <laughs> because okay. like you're getting the ghost angle, but I'm not really getting a freak vibe just yet. And I think that maybe if it, yeah, Caldwell, Caldwell, oh you mean God. just the top of the skull? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's just some long bones. <laughs> it's very important that I finish this thought. <laughs> that I'm having right here. Julie's just saving that for later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me a hot sec. So yeah, Trinity, what is the freak aspect? Is it like, is he, is he into like scat play or what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe Ben is because <laughs> a lot of these aliens just follow Ben's just whatever Ben wants to do. But it's just really just Ghost Pig is just a creepy looking alien, especially like Julie's drawing the true form of Ghost Exactly. Freak. Which is uh, Peter Pan in a business suit, apparently. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so is he doing finger guns? Yeah, he is. I like it. <laughs> hey, I'm freaky. He zaps you and you just wake up in a telemarketing center. Exactly. <laughs> See, this is Ben when he actually goes to the alien race of Ghost Week and it's like, hey guys, check out the new look. <laughs> <laughs> they got some crazy stuff on Earth. Yeah, you guys should come. Suits. Suits. <laughs> Telemarketing. You know how on this planet we just float around and throw scat at each other? Well, on that planet, they do jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do like that, Julia. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he's got the, the, the marks that you mentioned. Oh yeah. yeah, those alien what yeah. Yeah, and you already you already got the Omnitrix, it's just on the tie. <laughs> it's very good. It's just a tie. The good thing about this design is he can just peek his head into a cubicle very easily. Be like, ooh, it's freaking in here. Hey, making those calls, <laughs> hitting those quotas. Good, good, good. I have secret eyeballs. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like just adding Actually yeah. the eyeballs would be good because in his original form there is a very creepy just eye. Oh, is there? It. Yes, you oh, yeah. the eye. And Julia, we, we still got to get that stomach tentacle. Oh, he has point. a stomach tentacle? Yeah, and yeah. it's true for I think I stopped a, listening at gets... some point. <laughs> got into the zone. She's very into this, and I love it. But by stomach tentacle, Trendy, do you mean just like front tail? No, it's just like this this, this like octopus s tentacle thing that just protrudes out of his body in his true form as if just to say, I'm going to pull you okay. in. Okay, that's a, what you described as a front tail. <laughs> <laughs> There's a term for this. It's front tail. Well, front it's front tail. tail. An octopus esque <laughs> tentacle protruding from your well, tummy. I mean, it's front tail is the common uh, parlance, but scientifically it's known as a tunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do with that <laughs> tunt. tunt. Don't forget the tunt. I, I'm going to add the tunt. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, while you do that, I'm just doing a Google search to make sure I didn't say anything awful. Because it does yeah. sound like it should be something awful. Uh huh. Oh, Urban Dictionary, what you got for me? <laughs> tunt is just the last name of uh, Cheryl in Archer. I did realize that, but Urban Dictionary says Tunt is a level three employee that works at the Jeffers Corporation, which seems like a definition that you yourself wrote, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> that is go that's Ghost Freak. Some um, that's his that's his job. <laughs> We've given him a job now. <laughs> what is the Jeffers Corporation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they can, you know what? You can dis do some self discovery on that one. Okay, so I gotta I gotta add the tunt here. Uh huh. <laughs> Give me that tunt. Saying it is just bad. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you can say front tail if you want. I mean, it's less fun, but sure. Gosh, I love that twisty neck though. Since he's a businessman, would he keep his tunt tucked? <laughs> Do you tuck or untuck the tunt? <laughs> he has classic, a tunt clip. Classic question for the, um, the forums. Gotta make room for it, so I'm just gonna. All right, so the second definition of tunt is the type of butt a female has. <laughs> that makes what sense. What kind of butt, though? <laughs> we have multiple butts. I never knew this. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got You didn't get the full manual. When I was in the chrysalis, that's when they <laughs> handed out the manual. So. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Oh, the, we're we're going to the promised land. <laughs> okay. I love that I can't he floats. I forgot about the ton. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the float. <laughs> hey, you're fired. All right. <laughs> hey. Cool. Ghost 3K, you are fired. Yeah. Ghost free. Hey, you get that email I sent? <laughs> Sir, we don't have computers. We all just stare into uh, gaping mouths all day. Yeah, but I emailed you on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's doing a point, it's too. It's doing a point. <laughs> ah, deals. It's doing a tentacle point. The deals, ghost. Ah, I love it. You'll freak for these savings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he just sells cars. I don't know. Hi, right, Ghost Freak here. <laughs> Hi, right, going down to Ghost Freak Honda. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put you in a new Civic. Can I just say I'm very into this design? Yeah, it's really. This good. seems like a, a the dude from Ghost Trick. This seems like his nemesis. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, this does seem like if they made a Ghost Trick sequel and there was like a devil ghost that you had to fight in it. 
It's like Earthworm Jim meets meets Ghost Trick. This is the ideal human body, and you can get frustrated about it, but this is what peak performance looks like. This is unrealistic male body goals. If you do enough crunches, your belly button will turn into a ton, and then you'll be... <laughs> You'll be the flashiest kid in school, is all I'm saying. You too can be a ghost freak. <laughs> if you follow these eight simple steps. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ghost Freak from <laughs> Ghost Freak Incorporated. <laughs> Guys, I smell a spinoff. Do you want a lick of my giant ring? <laughs> <laughs> Too oh, yeah. bad. You want me to add that? He's, he just he got saved, a little. He saved one. Oh, absolutely. This is yeah. like his college ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Very good. Well, damn. Should we look it up? Yeah, as soon as I stop adding little stupid things, okay, I'm putting it down. <laughs> there are two pictures of Ghost Freak. There's his, his Ben form, and then his is freaky weird. Yeah, so there we go. There's, um, There's okay, he's like an oogie boogie. Oh, yeah, oogie he boogie. is an oogie boogie. He's an oogie boogie. And then what's his other one? There it is right there. The tentacle one. Oh, yeah, he look just at had a spiky boy. Oh, he yeah. has an upside down skull. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, he does have like a Beetlejuice body up in there. Yeah, yeah, like the tail's very like similar to those, the, was the sand snakes from Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beetlejuice bod right in time for summer. Look at him. Ready to go. I'm noticing none of us made the elbows spiky enough. No. That seems yes. to be a thing <laughs> mm -hmm. in all three of our designs. They all have very spiky elbows. Well, it's hard to get a, a good blazer that has room for the yeah, elbows. Yeah, you got to get those, those elbow pads. <laughs> Elbow holes. Well, I can't wait to see all these fun new creatures show up on the new season, Bin Tin Tunt Force. Uh, it's going to be <laughs> a real blast. <laughs> Trindy, thank you for delivering these aliens into our brain. No problem. I love, I love these redesigns. Well, I think that's about all the time we have today. Nathan, where can people find Drawfee around the web? We are on YouTube. You can subscribe here. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch. Oh, yeah. We got all the links in the description we of this video. We all got Twitters. And we all have Twitters. That's also going to be in the description of this video. Trendy, where can people find you online? Yeah, you can find me at on Twitter at Trendzilla underscore. Um, watch all the dorkly videos because I have a hand in editing all of those. Nice. So. They're good. They're very good. <laughs> Thank you. You can find me, I, I'm doing a new podcast with some of my friends called Not Another D&D &D Podcast. It's a D&D &D, uh, actual play podcast uh, hosted by Brian Murphy, and it's super fun. I play a halfling boy scout named Beverly, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, we have Adam Conover coming on as a guest soon. Please give it a listen on iTunes or wherever you get them podcasts. Yeah, nice. it's good. Well, I have nothing else to plug, and I just grow tired of this skull. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching Drawfee. Again, of course, give a comment with what you'd like to see us draw next. And until that time, we are very, very sorry. 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 Tunt.